Since I was a little kid, my oldest brother encouraged me to play the game, always encouraged me to watch it, and I just thought it was interesting. I got myself into it, and here I am. I was a determined kid, and my mother made a lot of sacrifices for me. That was very difficult for her and for me as well. In the Caribbean, I think by the time you start walking, someone's gonna give a ball to you. We play on the road, we play anywhere we would find anything, any little space, we would make two goals ourselves, and any sort of thing we'll make balls from and we'll just play, just because we love the game. My coach from back home, Ian Sardine, he had some girls go to a junior college and they did well. They were asking, how would the guys do? And then he contacted me. I didn't want to go, to be honest, but I never regret going there to Ranger College. And then I worked my way, scored a few goals, and Paulis came to watch a game and he saw interest in me. But that's why I came here. It's been life changing. I've learned so much about different cultures, but mostly about soccer. On the islands, we just play based on individual talents and stuff like that. But here, I came into a system where I pass the ball and those kind of stuff. And Paulis has taught me so much since I've got here. And I'm really grateful for that. Having a coach like Paulis, you can't let this kind of stuff get to your head. You know, you got to stay focused and be disciplined at all times. Thinking about the future and life, we're not going to be able to play forever. By the age of 30, you're going to start, you know, you can't play no more. You want to do something else with your life. You don't want to just sit around and just depend on people. The dream is always alive, you know. My dream as a kid was always to play professional soccer, so by all means, I'm going to do that.